hello everyone uh, i'm back again this time with chapter 2 of class 3 sst so let us begin the name of the chapter is the earth our home the earth is home to all living things as we know all uh, living things whether it's animal or human being or uh, we all stay on earth it is surrounded by a layer of air called the uh, called the atmos atmosphere it is this layer of air which has made possible for us to live on this earth. This is, uh, I'll explain what is atmosphere. This is earth you can see and all around the atmosphere there is a layer of air which surrounds the earth. Okay, so this layer, so this layer is known as atmosphere. About three-fourth of the earth is covered by water one fourth of it is covered by land suppose if we divide this is earth and if we divide it into four parts the the three portion here is covered by water and only one portion is covered with land it has the right temperature needed by all living things to live the earth see here in our, in our solar system we have many planets but it is only earth which has the right temperature right atmosphere which, ha which has enable for, uh, for, which has uh, like uh, enable enable us to live on earth and because of uh, this only the life the life on earth is going on so now we'll move on to next topic which is shape of the earth long time ago people used to think that earth was flat earth was actually flat the people used to think and somebody if they go too far they might fall from earth but this thinking was changed when when Ferdinand Magellan about 500 years ago he began a voyage uh, going round the earth like taking a full round of the world so what happened from the place from from a place called Spain when he started and he traveled and it traveled and after like going round suppose this is uh, uh, he started from here after going round the full earth he came back again at the same place which showed that earth is not a uh, flat it is round to complete the journey he almost took three years and hence he proved that earth is round like a ball so now we will move on to next topic globes and map the earth is very big we cannot see the entire earth at a time you know earth is very big and we cannot see the full whole of the earth from the place where we are so in order to study about the globe about the earth we had to make a model of the of the earth and this model of the earth this model is of the earth is only known as a globe globe is very useful to study the different places of the earth However, it is not possible to show all the places on a small globe. A uh, globe is very important, important for like to study the places. Like here, you see, uh, we can see Africa, India here, but it is possible for us to, to see the entire continent, the countries from here where we are at present. So, but uh, uh, it also had some, have some uh, disadvantages, like it is not possible to show all the places on a small globe all the all the minor places which are in the interior it is not possible uh, for us to show them on the on a globe for this purpose only we have map now the question is what is map so map is a drawing of the earth or a part of it map is a drawing drawing of a, of any part of the of the earth okay in comparison to globe maps are very handy because they are not so huge and they are very easy to carry anywhere for example if we take uh, um, the map of muzaffarpur it is not possible to make a globe of muzaffarpur because globe can be made only of the earth but if we want to study uh, muzaffarpur about muzaffarpur so on this globe we cannot see muzaffarpur for that purpose we can use a map which is small and uh, it can be created uh, for any particular place to study that place in details maps can be big or small big maps which are hung on the wall are called wall maps as you can see in the schools for uh, for the purpose of teaching uh, we generally use a big map 
which are which are hung on the wall okay and uh, there's also a book of map which is known as an atlas moving moving on to next page we'll start with the topic directions on the map map we know that there are four main directions north south east and west and without map uh, without these directions working on the map means to locate any place on the map is just next to impossible if we divide the map into four parts the the upper part is the north direction and just opposite to it is south and on the left it's west and on the right it's east the picture shown here is a diagram is a drawing of a compass this machine is used this, this is a simple machine which is used to locate directions uh, while sailing on the sea and in earlier times sailors used this to find their way while sailing this compass has a needle which always points towards the north and uh, once a uh, north is known means any one direction is known it is very easy to locate all other directions it shows towards the north the point it points towards the north because the north pole has the uh, the the magnetic field is high towards the north that's why it always points towards the north we now come to the last topic of the chapter ocean and continents uh, now what is an ocean very large water bodies uh, are called oceans there are five main oceans okay the water you know that earth is covered with the uh, water and the and the large portion of this of those water is known as ocean and there are five main, main oceans in the world the pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean antarctic ocean and arctic ocean let me show you in the map this is the world map and the blue portion which you can see here is the water bodies and you can see here i'll show you the oceans is indian ocean here antarctic ocean pacific ocean arctic ocean and Antarct atlantic ocean these are the five main oceans uh, on the earth same way we also have huge chunks of land on earth and these large areas of lands are called continents and on the earth there are seven main continents namely asia africa north america south america europe australia and antarctica we'll once again go to the map and try to find out this continents there so here is the map again and we'll see try to find the continents here you can see it's asia in green color in the pink color it's europe build that it's africa on the left this yellow portion is north america below that it's south america and and on the right extreme right it's australia these are the seven main continents if we stand on top of a high building we can see the sky and the land or the sea meeting at a distance so the place where the where land and uh, the sky seems to meet are called horizon and the place where the land and sea meet is called coast here in the picture you can see uh, water and land they are meeting with each other this place is known as coast and the place where land and uh, the sky seems to meet is called horizon so with this we come to the end of this chapter i hope you will like it thank you and have a nice day stay home and stay safe